Today, we're breaking out the Bintac T9 PCP pistol. A big thank you to Bluegrass Big Boar for sending out this Bintac T9 for me to try out today. We've done a couple of modifications to this. A big thank you to Atmotac for sending out this AR-15 stock adapter, as well as this muzzle adapter for the T9. I also believe Bintac is now offering fixed and folding stocks when you place orders for these. The T9 comes with two 125cc tanks for a total capacity of 250cc. This thing is very loud. It only has an eight inch long barrel. So I highly recommend getting a moderator adapter and using the Ronin. Depending on what suppressors you're using, the semi-auto function might be hindered by that. I'm not sure exactly what will or will not work, but right now I'm just using my Donnie FL Ronin. And we will also have to keep that in mind. If we run into any issues, it might be because of this moderator, but due to how loud this thing is right now, I'm not gonna be able to shoot it without the moderator. Per usual, we have the Trigicon ACOG 4X on here. I like doing things a little ridiculous, so there's nothing more ridiculous than this Trigicon 4X ACOG. Today, we're gonna be using these exact Diabolo pellets for the whole video. I was planning on using slugs, but unfortunately, when I was doing a test run before I started filming, they weren't grouping nearly as well as the exacts, so that's what I'm gonna be sticking with for today. Now, before anyone goes and corrects me on the pronunciation, this is Diabolo, not Diabolo. Oh, and before I forget, these ship with two eight round magazines. All right, enough talking. First, I wanna start off with some groups. Let's see if we're still sighted in and I'll show you what accuracy you can expect with these pellets. After that, let's do a chronograph and gel test. See what power we're gonna make, see how far it goes through the gel. Once we're done with the gel test, we're gonna move on to Texas Stars. After that, we're gonna go on to sodas and then we're gonna blow up some spray paints. When we wrap that up, we're gonna move on to the dueling tree, see if this thing will rock that around. Out of curiosity too, I wanna see if I can get that pendulum swing. And then to wrap things up, I wanna see if this is gonna pierce my two by four. Let's get started. We're at about 33 yards right here. I set up this new target stand for the Bintec M car. That thing's gonna be pretty sweet. I got a video coming up with that soon, so stay tuned. Four bullseyes, 16 rounds, two mags. I have a feeling I'm pulling the shot just a little bit. I should have brought out my uh, shooting stick, but we'll just keep going offhand. I think that was actually a pretty decent group at 30 something yards. We only have an eight inch barrel and offhand, so not bad for this pistol barrel length PCP carbine. All right, let's run this through the chronograph. Here's what my FX chronograph picked up. Let's move on to the Texas Stars. Texas Star time. It's that pink one first. Easy peasy. Time for my boy Blue. Last but not least, the Biggin. Stubborn as always. All right, let's break some plates. I forgot to mention this in the intro, so we're gonna do it right now. I destroyed these with a crossbow last week. The noise it makes is like some sort of cartoon. It's hilarious. One more. Soda slamming time. Let's go for those last four and then I'm gonna dump the mag on the gong. Let's 
spray paint time. <laughs> yeah, boy. I can't believe I'm saying this two weeks in a row. It's flare time. Let's burn a hole in the ozone layer. How dare you? That last one tried to escape, so I added another one. Before I move on to the dueling tree, I want to take down these steel poppers. Let's double tap them. We'll go right to left and then to the middle again. Now that would have been a little bit quicker on the double tap, but this trigger has a long reset. I didn't reset it all the way before I pulled it again, so it was a little delayed. Let's see if I can do a little bit better on the dueling tree and fully reset it this time. All right, if it's not enough to move the dueling tree with a double tap like that, maybe I have to do it quicker. I don't think it's gonna move the pendulum, but let's put eight rounds on the small one and see what it does. All right, here goes nothing. Unfortunately, the pendulum wins today. All right, I changed my mind. I got the shooting stick out. Let's see how this does at about 60 yards. We're gonna group on that left steel. Let's aim for the bolt. I can't really see exactly where I was hitting. Let's go down there and get a closer look. That was four shots on top one another. All right, last mag. Let's just dump it into that two by four. I got a camera behind it so we can see it passing through if it makes it. Or that'll happen. Let's go see what happened. That board was getting shredded. So that's going to wrap things up for the Bintac T9. Once again, a big thank you to Tom at Bluegrass Big Boar, and a big thank you to Atmotac for sending out the parts so I could put on the suppressor and the stock. Now to be clear, this moderator does not improve the accuracy at all for this PCP. So with this 8 inch barrel at 60 yards, I'm actually surprised with the accuracy we were getting out of it. And that's with pellets. With the right type of slugs that are going to perform really well in this, I bet you could get probably an inch group at 60 yards with this Bintac T9. This only has 250 cc capacity for air, but even with that and this being a nine millimeter 357 caliber, it gets 24 plus shots. I refilled every 24. I'm not sure what FPS or foot pounds you're gonna get beyond that, but for what I was doing in this video, it held up completely fine. Those targets down there at 60 yards the windage was a little off, but elevation was there. The first batch of T9s only shipped as a pistol. Atmotech has got you covered if you want to add a stock. I would highly recommend adding the stock. If you're concerned about the overall length with the stock, you could easily get a side folder. With a side folding stock, this thing is still completely backpackable, no problem. This still has the dovetail rails. Bintac included the Picatinny adapters. You won't have to worry about getting an adapter on your own. Now they're included. Now I will admit, I was kind of nervous with this being unregulated and only having 250 cc capacity. I was expecting the velocity to vary greatly, but apparently that's not the case. So that wraps things up for the Bintac T9. If you want to find out more about this PCP, check out the pinned comment below. See ya. How dare you?